Hi, this is my mini memoir for EDSP 481. So we're going to start by talking about my, well, his, not that kind of history. My, how about my educational history? Um, so I attended public schools. I was mostly an average student. I loved school until about eighth grade. And then some big life changes caused my interest to just kind of nosedive um, academically as well as socially. I was barely present during the first two years of high school. I began to care more during my junior year when I found kindred spirits and a lot of the kids that I would play music with, start bands with. Um, it didn't also hurt that I knew that end of K through 12 was finally near. Um, as a result, I even took my academics somewhat more seriously. Um, so that's the extent of my educational history. So that leads to a story about an experience I had in school um, during my elementary years in fifth grade, particularly. Um, like I said, my educational history, I was a mostly average student. Um, I did also require pull-out writing services throughout fifth grade, um, up, or up until fifth grade. Um, and it was one of the aids for perceived deficiency that I, I still struggle with. Um, there were a lot of people that really helped me out early on. Um, as far as offering those services, um, but really until I started playing music in high school, I was never part of anything extracurricular, not really part of anything organized socially. Um, I've never really been very competitive, so I felt a great amount of pride when I went toe to toe with the top honor roll student um, in the school I'd spelling bee in fifth grade, and I won. Um, I don't think I would have had taken that opportunity and had the confidence to do that if it wasn't for um, just the teachers that had helped me and particularly like even being offered those services um i just felt like i was i was taken care of and that's one of the things i was very proud of because that was my first extracurricular achievement or just just stepping out um into the world really um it took me a long time but that is my story from fifth grade so in conclusion, we're going to wrap it up with, so why do I want to teach special education? Well, I'll tell you why. That apple right there, I didn't draw that. Um, one of the students I worked with, I work with um, drew that. And I want to be a special education teacher because of the students. Um, I want to help young people in the same way that I was helped in my earliest school years. Um, and I feel like that is, that special education is really one of the best ways to do that. Um, I've had several, several years of experience in it now. And I, I think it's my calling. I know it's my calling, uh, correction. Um, so it's, it's, it's a short answer, but that that is why I'm choosing special education and this program. Um, I want to make that difference. I want to be that person that can help. Um, so that is my educational history. That's my story. That's why I want to be a special education teacher. Uh, thank you for listening.